<clears throat> Hello. It is 4 a.m. That is true. It's actually 5 a.m. Well, it's, yeah, actually, it just turned 5 as I said that. It's 5 in the morning, not 4. Oh. <sighs> Good morning. How is everyone good, terrible, incredible? Hi, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hello, Mia. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I just refreshed my mentions. There's just Mia saying hi, and then the next mention is some random person just saying, I mildly dislike you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's such a funny, like, it just stood out to me because it's just so different from, like, vitriol or, like, super positivity. It's like, I mildly dislike you. It's like, okay. But, hello. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you guys? I don't know how long I'll do this for. Probably not that long, but never know. It is late. Um, it is 4 a.m. I've been like, not, I've been, I've been like kind of sick, but like not sick. Like I've just, I've felt bad and it's been like on and off. It's like, and then I've just been sleeping so much. Like I'll go to sleep and then I'm just asleep for a ludicrous amount of time. Um, like, there's been, oh, the last, like, week, there's been, like, I haven't felt a s normal a single time, a single day. I felt, like, weirdly off. I feel bad because I've been, like, unintentionally ignoring people and curbing people and shit, and I don't mean to. Hi, hi. Is Saturn okay? Yes, he's fine. I thought he was joking about getting stitches when I saw the tweet because I wasn't here. But then I came home and he wasn't joking. Yeah, he had to go to the hospital. But he's okay now. How's Patches doing? She's fine. She's on her little cat couch right now. As she frequently is. You're excited for the holidays? Yes. It's exciting. Of course. <laughs> Patches was in a pet magazine. Ha. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't see that. Someone. Someone. Uh, put her in there. What's your favorite food? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like... I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. That's a it's a tricky question. I like food in general. I don't really dislike many things. Like I don't like coffee. 
But outside of that, I feel like I like everything. I feel like right now I have like an aversion to, to food. <laughs> it's just because like I, I'm very like – I've been very particular for a long time with what I eat. And then when I was on the trip to like to L.A. and San Diego and like everywhere, um, I wasn't particular at all. I was like, fuck it. I'll just, I'm just going to have whatever. Um, and so – Right now, I'm very, I'm very much like, all right, let's, let's not eat anything. Where is, never mind. Stop with the coffee slander. It's the best thing ever. No. Coffee sucks. Did you go shopping with Tina? No, I didn't. We will. We will. It'll just have to be at a point when we plan it and have the time to. Um, so. Hopefully. At some point. Did you do the world yesterday? Yeah, I did. I told like two people to do it, and then I was like, okay, I think I know why they're telling me to do it. So I got it at first guess, but. What do you think about the Elon Musk Twitter stuff? Um, Bad just texted me, made you look. I I guess technically you did. Um, I feel like I have an interesting take on the on the Twitter stuff. I think that one, I think like the current verification system is is just kind of stupid. Like people don't really necessarily know this, but who how they choose who gets verified? I think a Twitter, at least in the past, has been kind of dumb. Like it was originally for me, it was like hard to get verified. And I was like, why, why was it hard to get verified? But then they give out willy nilly to like, Oh, you're a journalist. You're verified. Even if you, you're not really a journalist, you're just like kind of a journalist. And then they give out to like the, all the big, like, uh, what's it called? Um, like, uh, journalist places, like news organizations, they give them like what well, they, they used to like a number of verifications they can give out. And then, like, people would try and, like, sell them. Like, when I was a smaller creator, um, I, had, I had, like, companies try and, like, sell me when I was trying to get verified. Try and, like, sell me verification. Like, yeah, we'll verify you for a couple thousand dollars. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of stupid. I should just be verified. I'm, I'm a YouTuber or whatever. Um, and there's a lot of people I know that aren't verified that should be verified. And um, it's the, the whole process, like, you'll see somebody that has, like, 10 followers that nobody knows that's, oh, a journalist for so-and-so local newspaper but then like somebody with thousands of you know, tens of thousands of followers something that's not so for the point of verification it's kind of stupid it's kind of like an elitist club like oh i'm cool i'm in the verified club so i don't really care i think it's not it's, it's kind of instagram is similar to that i think to like twitter but like on youtube as an example um it's more just like you're verified if you have a reason to be impersonated which to me makes sense. Um, I think that kind of selling verification is stupid, but I think that in like a couple months, everyone's going to be like, like right now everyone's like, well, no one's going to buy it. It's like, the problem is I think a lot of people are because it's gonna be like you, you kind of like have to, it's, it's going to become more like, like, you know, like CSGO and like games where you buy, you, you, you like have to pay or you put in your phone number to get like verified as not a bot. 
I think that's the intention behind of it. It's kind of like they're like remove. They're essentially like removing ver- verification. I think they're like removing verification and just adding like anti-bot money measures. And it's the same as like on CS:GO and elsewhere. Where like you're still gonna have bots and people are gonna still pay money. You're still gonna have hackers. People are gonna still pay them eight the dollars. Um, but then now Twitter's gonna make money from it. Um, it's like realistically, I think it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big revenue earner for Twitter, which is probably why it's they're doing it. Um, I think that right now everyone's making a fuss about it, but in like a couple months, it's not really gonna it's not gonna end up mattering because uh, anyone that there's like a lot of people right now that are verified are just gonna have to buy it because like well, I mean you're not gonna not be verified, um, and then uh, people that. Um, it'll become like a very commonplace thing where it's not really a verification. It's, it's just kind of like, like I said, in other games and stuff where it's like, oh, you're verified by putting in a phone number or whatever. It's kind of like where you can put on like Twitch where you have to be very, you have to have a phone. You can make it so that people can only chat in your chat if they have a verified phone number or something. But I don't know. I think it's all, I think it's funny though. <laughs> I think realistically they should have just like made it separate, I guess. Like they could maybe add it as a thing, but then like, have it so because i think the point of verification is there there is like on every platform where you're verified there there are certain people that are just verified whether they're a celebrity or like a youtuber or news or whatever and i think that kind of removing that from a essentially removing that from a platform like twitter is kind of bad i think um but we'll see it's no platform really has that but at the same time acting like it's now going to be a problem for um, like impersonation to be a bigger problem is just a lie because like on, on everywhere else where there is verification check marks, it's still a problem. Like people all the time tweet out as me with like a fake check in their name. People on my YouTube comments, like spam people and, and scam, scam people in like comments and stuff by having like a fake, just copy pasted check mark in their name. And so realistically, it's not going to really affect that that much. I guess it's just Twitter's going to make money from it. <laughs> um, which they pretty much openly said. But how's the internet? The internet's crap. But it should be done. It should be it should be fixed. It should be better soon. Are you going to release more songs? Um, yes, I will. I will. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> do you miss your beard what ha- even happened well see what happened was i just went to shave it and i, well, I went to trim it and i was like all right i'm used to a beard where you can have like it has like buttons you can press to like change the settings and i misread it and i just i started shaving and i was like oh shit that's a lot more and then i basically yeah, i just completely shaved off my beard but it'll grow back um yeah i don't know How soft is the dream pillow? It's very soft. 